first ball has been hit for six. So, you know that Mark Taylor's in form when he pulls the ball, and when he pulls it for six, then you know he's in very good batting form. 97 he's moved to now, what a shot. And Taylor looking for his 100, and that's far too easy a way to bring it up. So well played, Mark Taylor. He gets the standing applause of his Australian teammates. His 19th Test century, and he gets a standing ovation from the crowd as well. A good crowd here on a Friday afternoon. Off the back foot, timing beautiful, placement precise. That one comes in, he picks that one, lovely shot from Taylor. He waited on that one, and the slowness of the pitch, just not the pace that Mustak would like. And when a man's on 120, he only has to find the placement. And another wrong one, and he's picked this one and placed it between the two men. And slow, short ball, just pulled away effortlessly by the Australian captain, so four runs to begin the new spell. That's a glorious square drive. So that's a magnificent shot. Just laid back on that. And he brings out one of his favourite shots. So this will bring up his 150 for Mark Taylor. And two runs to bring up another milestone for the Australian captain. He raises his bat. He's got that beautifully, that cut. He's played that cut magnificently this morning. Inside it. There's three times for three different shots he's played square with the wicket in this over. Lovely shot. Mark Taylor, not known as a great fluent cover driver of the ball or off driver of the ball, but on that occasion, the timing was beautiful. And Taylor goes for four. So an easy pickings for Mark Taylor there. Back and off the back foot, straight down the ground. He really is hitting it so sweetly. Front foot, back foot. Just lay back, and that's the double hundred, the second time in his career. His teammates rise to him, Australian flag, standing proudly under the Southern Cross. Absolutely smashed away, got what it deserved. Lovely shot by Mark Taylor. He's not the classical cover driver for a left-hander, but when he gets his foot to the ball and his placement and timing right, he does it beautifully. So he moves on to 226. And he goes away. And one bounce over for four. So the Australian captain decided to open the shoulders. As Taylor whacks it for four through mid-wicket. He goes into the 260s. And he swings that away, looking for the boundary, and he's found it. So that's a bad ball from Malik. Taylor goes into the nervous 290s. Looks like Armand to bowl. Taylor on strike on 298. And he gets it through. So Mark Taylor will bring up his 300. He raises his left fist in exhilaration. And why wouldn't he? And now... He shows some emotion that he hadn't showed before. The Australian skipper brings up 300 in a test match. What a moment. And he will accept the genuine congratulations of a number of the Pakistan players. Mohan Khan, Amir Sahar, his opposite number, comes in from midweek to congratulate him. And what a moment for Mark Taylor. What a moment for Australian cricket. It's been a long time since an Australian's made 300. Obviously, I'm delighted with how I've played. I've scratched around a little bit early on in the first morning, but since then I've probably played as good as I've played in Test cricket. So, uh, you know, I've, I've had a lot of times in the game, and even at 34, I can still play okay. 
Oh, he's got that away. And that's four. He's played magnificently square with a wicket on both sides. Takes it off the hip. So he joins Sir Donald Bradman as Australia's highest scorer in Test cricket. I'm delighted to finish on the same score as Sir Donald. Um, I don't think it's, I think it's probably the only time in my career I'll get compared to him. So it's probably not a bad, a bad time to stop. And I, I think the world records out of is not a chance because it'll take me too long to get them. I can't see them bowling too many overs us this morning if we if we bat on. Um, and I could, you know, I could still be there an hour later, still 10 or 15 runs short of the world record if I don't get out. So I think it's a big time wasted.